get some paper out and start trying to figure out what to put around it. Now, we're thinking about a design that's in the round, meaning you don't just see it from one side. It's something that you want to have a continuation of some sort that goes around. So when you do it, be thinking that through. So you might want to think in terms of patterns and things that are going to repeat going around, um, or things where like it wouldn't look really terrible and weird if you only saw them one part. So one thing I did when I was trying to come up with designs is not just go to the internet and put in designs. Um, just use your mind, use your eyes, and just use some trying out of possibilities. So what I did was I did use a little technology first where I walked around with my phone and I looked for anything where if I zoomed in close could make an interesting texture. So if I were to see this basket, you know, and I take a picture of that or see it through the viewfinder and I see what that looks like with a rectangle. It's a real basic thing, but it might be something that gets me on the right track. So I went on and I took pictures of different things. So I saw, looked out the window and I saw a little bit of a brick wall. So I took that picture. I went out in the hallway. There was this nice stripe down the middle of the hallway. So once students are back in here, we get to have some going this way and some going that way. Um, and it's like a caution tape. So it was like the diagonal slats um, and some other things too. Uh, a notebook binding. I looked at like the edge of the notebook. So we have the horizontals and then the verticals, but the verticals going in sets of two. So anyway, as I go along, I just look for anything that seems like it's an interesting pattern, design, whatever, and see if that's something I can build off. Now on my paper, I drew out the goal where I'm going to have the image. So I put like a blank little bowl and I put the foot on there. I did that, but I didn't put a design on there yet. I wanted to wait until I looked through them. So um, I drew out some of the things that I found, and so there's a little version of, I wrote found, brick, uh, found, caution tape, and found, there's a notebook. Now, they're not the best drawings in the world. When you're sketching about trying to come up with ideas, yeah, sometimes people want to do a really, really nice drawing, but generally I believe that when you're trying to capture ideas quickly, just get something on paper, see if it's even close to being a possibility before you get the really well-drawn um, drawing. And then after that, I was just thinking about like repeating, like what if I did like a diamond kind of shape and I just did it over and over again, just nothing else, just diamonds. I'm like, well, what if I did a repeating shape, kind of a zigzag, but then I incorporated something else, like little dots. Uh, I just didn't know what I was going to do. I did a tall line, then did a smaller line, and then did like a medium line. I'm like, you know what, it's kind of like a ruler. Uh, drew out a chain, it did spirally things, kind of like a wave sign, sine wave. Uh, did a basic kind of rectangular, and then when I said, once I started doing these rectangle boxes and all that, it started looking like a city skyline to me. Thought about flowers, if I thought of maybe like I was going to keep it like kind of swirly thing going around. Just thinking about Charlie Brown there. Um, landscapes and mountain. You know, basically what I'm doing is I'm just thinking, what's something that could keep on going? And so when you do this, I want you to, do, to definitely look for stuff. Look for things that you might spot as just who knows. You might find that inspiration that it came from something and doesn't end up looking like that. So I might find this which just gives me the idea of like working with horizontal and vertical or working with pairs so i might not make it look exactly like this but in the process of finding an image and then messing with it it might come together and become something so find some pictures and then draw them and then doodle around and try out some different things and then lastly you can also go back to the thing i said don't do in the beginning you can search for things, um, different designs. But here's the thing, originality is a beautiful thing and it's so hard to come by when you can instantly get answers to things. And so try to resist the urge as long as possible, see how much you can dig up out of your own mind. But I also know that you're used to doing things where you get your answer right away. So have that as an option, but also realize that it's a shortcut that's cutting you out of this situation um, letting your brain play around with things. So I want you to go at it solo first, your own mind, and then go from there with, okay, I did a bunch of ideas. Let me just kind of look for different designs and I might all of a sudden stumble upon like Greek designs or Egyptian designs. And, and in the process, I see something that either I want to do just like that or I see something that inspires me to something that is more original. So. Let yourself um, have the opportunity to have these creative challenges that you don't just easily solve through the
that's how I type. Um, so that's my encouragement to you. Eventually, I had to pick one of them. I really felt best about the city skyline, and so I drew it into its place. Like it, it made it to the winner circle. And now I did put color in there just to, I just want to visualize what I had in my mind now. You don't have to have the color figured out, but you at least want to figure out um, what the design is like. So you don't have to have color there unless, for me, I had a mi uh, mindset already of like kind of like a sunset sky over the city, or it's just like a glow from the lights of the city. I don't know, but I felt like putting it down so I would have it now. I can change my mind later. But but once I have it there, and once I, this gets to the leather hard stage where it is super cold now, it's been sitting out for a while, it's definitely a lot more firm. Um, I can pinch it and I could change the shape. I could put dents in it pretty easily. So my thumbnail, I just put a little dent, it's no problem. So it's not really super firm. And so I understand I could go farther with this to let it be a little drier to work on. But also you might wanna just try it out and see how it works. Now what tool you use is up to you. Um, one thing we're used to using a lot is a pencil and a pen. So we're used to holding that and, and the point all that. So you could try out a pencil, whether it's a sharp pencil or maybe it's even kind of or very dull. You're gonna get different kinds of lines. And you could use that. So I could use a little wooden stick too, but I'm just gonna use a pencil in this case. And what I'm gonna do is try drawing it in, knowing that this isn't gonna be final. Um, I'm not worried about having it perfect. Now, I went right off the bat and I'm going pretty deep with it. So if I mess this up, I have a lot of rubbing out to do to fix it. If I do it really lightly where I'm not pressing in very much, then when it comes down to, oh, I have a mistake, I can easily rub that out, whereas this is not as easy. So it just takes a little bit more. So try to draw it lightly if you're still trying to figure out how it's gonna look. Give yourself a chance to make mistakes and fix them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start working on this. So, Okay, so as I work through this the first time, um, it's very easy to draw into this because it's still so soft, but it's also difficult to draw into this because it's leaving so much extra stuff, or that word, debris. It's leaving a lot of debris. And so I'm finding that I may not be at the ideal drawing stage. It is getting toward leather hard, but it's still quite soft. So if I get this drawn in there and say, you know what, it's making more problem than it is fixing, then maybe I'm gonna wait a little longer so it'd be easier to clean this up. Okay, so I've given it a lot of time, let it dry out quite a bit. It's definitely not as cold as it used to be. It's a little cold, but um, I can tell it's starting to get drier. The color is getting a little bit lighter. And I have drawn into this several times. And every time I draw, some little bits of clay gets stuck in there. You've probably experienced this when you're doing the stamps, that it's just an annoying little thing. And the wetter the clay is, the more that's gonna stick. And so. Sometimes you just have to like leave it and come back. So I've already done that. I've gone over it a couple times. I let it dry quite a bit. And so I'm gonna do it one more time here before it's totally dry and I'm just gonna go along and loosen up any of those little bits that happen to be in there. Every, all these little pieces. And so I'm just loosening them. I'm not necessarily getting them out. You can use that little tool or pencil so, uh, uh, uh. Um, then once you loosen them, come at it with your dry brush. So take your brush, do not add water, and just kind of like back and forth. I'm sweeping it out and just paying attention to what's happening. There's little pieces come out of there. It's looking pretty good now. It really makes you appreciate when you see something with a lot of detail how much work it must be to get that. So it is really coming along. It's looking a lot better right now than it was before. I don't have too many little spots. Um, at some point, I'm also going to buff it with a sponge that's not very wet. I'm also not pressing very hard. That'll smooth off the edges where it gets a little bit rough sometimes from drawing. Don't mind my hands, I'm full of color today. Talk 
goes sometimes as an artist. You just end up with color on your hands. All right. So I feel pretty good about it. And what I'll do is I'm going to leave this aside. Um, one, I think I'm done. I'm going to put my initials in the bottom first. You may have a little trouble with that because you may not have a lot of room. So you could always have it um, somewhere else on there, like maybe you have it down here. Um, so I have it down here. It looks terrible because I just need to <laughs> just put it in there. I'll need to rub it out just a little bit with the sponge and maybe come at it again so it's actually readable. Now if you wait a long time, once your clay is nearly bone dry, um, you just have to be careful because when you dig in and you, you do some of these lines, some parts will break off and that's frustrating. So it seems like you don't want to do it too early, but you also don't want to wait till the very end. So I'm happy with it how it is. So it's ready to take some pictures. When you take your pictures, make sure you have a side view showing the detail. If your detail changes, uh, so on something different in a different part, then show both sides so I can see really what you did. And then show it from up above so we can see your wall thickness. Again, make sure that the picture is showing it so you can really change how the lighting is so you can actually see it. That's your goal. And so once you have it there, it's time to set it aside. So I hope you enjoyed getting into building something with clay and then running into the wall of frustration when you try to put a design in and then it seems like every time you go and draw that design in and try to take out clay it leaves more clay and it's a super frustrating process sometimes it's about being patient about being diligent about really going after something and not giving up on it when your your mind says you're done take a good look over it look again and just really truly decide am I done or do I need to do a little bit more and so really question your own self to push yourself to greatness so I hope you enjoy the first creation you make. Bye.